Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to build the X264 uh, video encoding library on Windows 64-bit. In this tutorial, we're going to use SIGWIN, which is essentially a bunch of tools that mimic how you compile and build programs on Linux, which definitely feels a little silly that we're downloading Linux tools for Windows. I think Microsoft should have included some of their own, but oh well, it gets the job done and it works really nice. Alright, so let's get into it. All right, so first up, you're going to want to navigate to the SIGWIN website, uh, which is just SIGWIN.com, and then navigate down to here and download the setup x86 underscore 64. All right, so after you downloaded the setup, we'll go ahead and run that. Allow changes to our device, then click Next, Next. Most of these default values are fine. And then it'll ask us which mirror we want to download from. Uh, this first one seems fine. That's always worked for me. Click Next. And then it will connect us to the mirror and allow us to select some extra things to install. All right, so once you're here, you want to click this little plus under the All. So we'll show you a bunch of options for different things to download, different categories. And in here, in the little search box, you'll want to type in make, press enter, and then go under the DEVEL category, and you'll find make somewhere down here. Double click that to mark it for installation. Now make is a nice program that helps us compile a bunch of um, C files or C++ files all together and we're going to need that to compile the X264 library and then we'll just go ahead and click next and next to let everything install. Alrighty so once this is done um, downloading all of those things you want to you know you can make an icon on the desktop if you want and that'll just be for the terminal. Click that finish there it is. Now when you double click this, you should have this little thing, which acts just like a Linux shell. So you have all the Linux commands, like to list files, ls, minus la, and you have the cd for change directory. And then we have this little directory, which you might be thinking, well, I don't have any directory named that in my Windows. And that's because if we go to where it installed this, so here's the SIGWIN64 folder. It made a little directory that we can navigate around in. And this will be useful because this is where we'll put our x264 library to compile it. All right, so next up, after we have SIGWIN all set up, we're going to want to install our C and C++ compilers. We won't need C++ today, but it'll be nice to have for any future projects you want to do. So we'll go to mingw64.org and then go to downloads and then click on the mingw w64 builds. And this is for compiling for Windows 64. Go to the SourceForge link and it should give you the latest version of the compilers and tools and stuff like that. All right. All right, so you're going to want to go ahead and run this installer. Allow it to make changes to your computer. All right, next. And then for architecture, we'll want to get the x86 underscore 64. All the other settings look fine. Then next and then you can install to wherever you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and install it straight to C drive just for easy access, but you can leave it as default if you want. Okay, and then it should start downloading. All right, so once that's done, you just hit the next, and then click finish, and it should be installed. So we'll go ahead and check in our local folder and 
Let's see. Ah, there it is. MinGW W64. And you'll want to double click into here. So you'll just navigate through all of these folders into MinGW W64. And then you want to go into the bin folder. And in here, what you want to go ahead and do is click in that blank space up top, hit Control C, and then go into Environment Variables. Click here, and then go to your path for your user variables. Double click that. And then here, click Add a New Variable and paste that link or the, the directory for the mengw64-bin and this will allow you to use uh, both the C and C++ compilers from wherever on your computer. Click OK. Can close out of this now. And now to make sure that worked, go into your SIGWIN terminal and type in gcc minus v and click enter. And there we go. And you should see all this come up. And it should say, built by the MinGW W64 project. Awesome. Alrighty, so next up, we need to download the X264 library. So you just want to go to X, you can just look it up like this, X264. And you'll want to find the www.videolan.org. And I'll have slash developers slash x264. And here is their home page for the x264 library. And then you'll just want to click on this big button here. And it should start to download the source code. Now this is kind of annoying because on Windows, you can't regularly extract this kind of file. So you'll have to download um, something like 7-zip is a good one. So if you download 7-Zip from here, and it'll walk you through the installation there. And then after you install 7-Zip, you can just right click. And you'll see this little 7-Zip pop up here. And then you can extract files. So it's kind of annoying. You have to extract it twice. Um, so you extract it once, and you get the .tar. Then you have to extract it again. But this time, what we'll do is we'll go to the extract files method for 7-zip. And what we can do is we can extract it straight to our SIGWIN home folder it made for us right in here. So we again click in the white space, control C, and just pop that in there. And there we have it. We have the x264 library here. Oops, oh, we don't want this stuff though. So take that out, pop that into home. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so that's kind of an annoying little thing. But if you look at that inner folder that you got, you should have all of this stuff here. And then you open up your terminal. I'll make this a little bigger. Yeah, there we go. All right. And you want to cd period period to go back. And there's your home folder. And then do ls la enter just to make sure you have the x264 library there. Then cd into that library. And then run the x264 configure program. So you have to type in dot slash configure. And this program just make some settings files for you to change later and also make some files for when you're gonna actually build x264 so it knows what architecture you're building on and stuff like that I think anyway <laughs> um, alright then once configure is done it'll say you can now run make which will build together all of the x264 library for you so you just type in make in here press enter and then I'll start building so now after make has finished you should get some output that looks kinda like this if there's any like colors in the output that means there's probably been an error um, 
which is always unfortunate. Um, okay, but if there's no colors, then everything compiled correctly. All right, so now if you go to your terminal, right click, open file location, and then go back to the SIGWIN64, or get here, however else you like. Then go into the home folder, and into the x264 folder, and you'll see that there's a new file called libx264. And if you have that, that means everything compiled correctly, and now you can use this to build any programs you want that utilize the x264 library. All right, so hopefully that was helpful, and y'all can now compile the x264 library to use in all your projects. Now this is a really nice thing to know how to do because you can now download and compile other people's projects too, like uh, Google's VP8 library is structured very similar to x264. All right, so thanks for watching, and happy coding!